cleared before the review was commenced. Question number 10, Sarah Dowie. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Conservation. Does she support the Department of Conservation's policy position that cameras on commercial fishing vessels are essential if we are to reverse the decline in marine species like seabirds? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Eugenie Sage. I agree that cameras are one useful monitoring tool to help protect seabirds and other marine species from bycatch in commercial fishing nets. Supplementary. Does she accept responsibility for the deaths of dolphins and seabirds happening due to her government deferring deployment of cameras? As the member should be well aware, there were a number of administrative and technical issues with the deployment of cameras. This government wants to ensure that cameras work. Is one of the technical difficulties the Hon. Shane Jones and his fishing industry connections? I am not responsible for any position that New Zealand First holds. Supplementary. The Hon. Stuart Nash. Has the Minister of Conservation received assurances from the Minister of Fisheries that it is a priority to resolve the problems around implementation for cameras on boats that were created by the previous government? Because we talk often, I understand the Minister of Fisheries is working hard to resolve the many technical and administrative problems that he inherited from the previous government. Supplementary. Why is the government being so sluggish in the implementation of cameras when they have already been introduced in Australia and Pacific nations, including Fiji, and have made a large difference in behaviours and the reporting of bycatch? Okay, before, the, before, no, order, before the Minister answers, I'm going to ask Sarah Dowry, I'll give her a chance to rephrase the question uh, without the pejorative terms. Why is the government been slow in the implementation of cameras when they have already been introduced in Australia and Pacific nations, including Fiji, and have made a large difference in behaviours and the reporting of bycatch. Mr Speaker, the implementation of cameras is a responsibility of the Minister of Fisheries. Oh. What, what responsibility does she take most seriously? her duty to save dolphins and seabirds from being killed or appeasing New Zealand First and their interests in the fishing industry? A point of order, the right hon. Mr Peters. Mr Speaker, that member is coming very close to making serious allegations for which there will be retaliation with proof in this House. That's the second, that's the second time she's done it. And I would love her, if I was her, look around her colleagues and I'll tell you who it would be challenged on the matters of corruption in this Parliament and we, they'll be her colleagues. OK, order, order. Speak of the point of order. Or, yeah, no, but the member will resume a seat until I'm, until I'm dealt with the rabble on my left during that point of order. Members, members will recall that earlier in this question time, the government was penalised supplementary questions uh, added to the National Party as a result of interjections during a point of order. Members quite often don't like points of orders, points of order. They often disagree with them, but the absolute rule of this House is uh, to be heard in silence, and therefore I will reverse the earlier decision made. Well, Mr Speaker, that's an interesting ruling, but firstly, uh, the Right Honourable Winston Peters has just stood up and made what is effectively a scurrilous allegation against uh, non-specified persons on this side of the House, on the basis that he does not like the question coming from Sarah Dowie. The question from Sarah Dowie simply points to the fact that there must be some disagreement among government parties when you've had an emphatic uh, position taken by a Green Minister today that she is not responsible for this, uh, and uh, quite clearly uh, it was uh, something that the Labor Party would not have been ordinarily opposed to, given their long record uh, yeah. of making or, comments or, or, on or this I th I think prior to the, the events. Point, come to the point of order. So please. the simple point is, 
If, in fact, it is not possible uh, to make a, ask a question uh, about who inside the coalition is not in favour of a particular uh, initiative uh, or has pushed a particular initiative uh, by the government, then that also starts to limit the scrutiny that the government as a whole has from this House. But I make the point again, Mr Speaker, that the Right Honourable Winston Peters has made a scurrilous allegation against unspecified members of this House. He has no substance to back it and should withdraw. Yeah, I, 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 will, I will deal with, first of all, uh, Sarah Dowie's question. Uh, and, and I have no doubt uh, that her question was with an order but sailed right up to the, right up to the edge um, on that question. I, think, I don't think there was an implication of corruption uh, in, in the question. Uh, I think members of all parties within government on occasions take credit for particular directions and decisions that are made. Uh, and, um, I don't have a problem with members suggesting, without improper motives, that a particular party um, has had an influence on government policy. Uh, I, however, uh, I want to say to the Right Honourable Winston Peters um, that uh, he has made um, an allegation against an unspecified member of the National Party. Uh, in a way which is not proper. There are, methods, there are methods of doing that, and I think the Right Honourable Gentleman is aware of those. Uh, and because he has uh, made a, uh, uh, a statement which is unparliamentary, he will withdraw and apologise. Withdraw and apologise. Point of order, Speaker. A point of order, the Right Honourable Speaker. Speaker, if you're going to allow questions which have at their end the insinuation that the minister being asked is not responsible. The minister in charge of the portfolio, namely fishing, is not responsible. But another party, for other reasons, is responsible. That, sir, is going to invite disorder in this house. And I, for one, and my colleagues are not going to take that. That's why I sent out a general warning that that's not a proceeding that you would be very wise to follow. And I think I'm entitled to at least put that, uh, that inference on it because that was the inference by the sniggering and jeering that they themselves were adopting on their side of the house. No, I'm, I'm, the point no I, want, I want to deal with this one first, well, please. Thank, thank you. Um, I was listening very carefully to the question, um, especially given the previous supplementary question, uh, and it is for me or the member to infer, we inferred different things. And, and on that basis, um, I would prefer if the right honourable gentleman just left it there. Mr Speaker. A point of order, the Honourable Jerry Browning. Just so we're clear, uh, you are uh, instructing the House that it is quite acceptable to ask a question of one minister in the coalition government about the influence of other parties in the coalition. Because that's all it was, nothing more. Yes. And everyone knows what the position of New Zealand First was prior to the election. Sure. I, 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 I have ruled to that effect. The question, the real question I've got is whether, whether I should have allowed it to the Minister of Conservation, uh, who doesn't have responsibility for the cameras. But that's, that's my problem uh, that I could have stopped earlier on. Question number 11, Mark Patterson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Oh, sorry, I, I apologise. I apologise. Can we go right back and we'll have the question again just so everyone remembers what it was? Thank you, Mr Speaker. What responsibility does she take most seriously? Her duty to save dolphins and seabirds from being killed or appeasing New Zealand First and their interests in the fishing industry? Order, order. Having, having listened really carefully to it, I'm now going to rule it out on the basis of their interests. Question number 11, Mark Patterson. Point of order, Mr Speaker. A point of order... The Honourable Jerry Brown. Do we assume then that you are ruling that New Zealand First has no interest in the fishing industry? No I, interest whatsoever. No care, no interest. And that is an industry. In, in, sorry. In, interest has quite a different meaning as that member of, is aware. He could, he could order. consult order. He could consult with the uh, honourable gentleman to his left as to the meaning of interest. 
Of order, Mr. Speaker. The right what, honourable Jerry Browning. Whatever my colleague. Sorry, might the honourable Jerry Browning. My, my honour, whatever my colleague might think is is not as relevant as what you think. And if you are suggesting, sir, that in some way that talking about the interest that New Zealand First has in this policy has some sort of a no. pecuniary value to it, that's completely unacceptable as well. Quite clearly, there was a discussion in government that led to the Green Party deciding that they would support a particular initiative. We're simply asking, what was it? Was it the Labor Party turning over and, and looking at, at, at a different order, thing? Order. Or New I've Zealand heard, first? I've, 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 no, I've, I've, sorry, I've, I've heard enough. And if the member had asked only about the influence of, the New, of New Zealand first, the question would have been allowed. When I listened carefully, um, it went further and I've ruled it out. Mark Patterson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My 